All right, so I have to split the video into two, otherwise it's getting uh, too long. So we were working on the filter method and I'm filtering out these values of opportunity amounts in this array. I just want to return the high value ones. So the high value ones, if it's more than 1000, then return it. So return it to this new array. So I'm printing this out. High value opportunities for today is this new array of high opportunity amount. Flip here. And there we have it. High value opportunities for today, 2,000, 5,000, and 7,500. Pretty cool, right? So next is every. So what is every? Every means it's going to check through every single value or element in the array. So let's make an example that makes sense. So let's make an example let age. So this is an age array. Okay. Um, so the age is like teenagers, maybe 14, 15, 16, 15 again, 16 year old, and then um, 17. Okay. So our code wants to check if this age array are all minors. Is it all minors? So the every array returns boolean. So it returns either true or false. Okay. So let's make a new one. So let um, all minors. So we want to check this, right? All minors is the age dot every and then this brackets function and then bracket curly bracket and then boom okay and then we can do current item index array okay remember we practice writing those syntax now i want to return for age in british columbia minors if they are under 19 years old oh current item under 19 years old so it's basically checking are all the elements of this array all under 19 if it's right it's going to say all minors true okay so if i go console.log um, all minors It's going to be true because everybody, every age here is under 19. So it's going to check every element. Boom. True. It's all minors. If I put one that's like the dad, like from 43 years old, 42 years old, is it now all minors? No, because we have one who is 42, which is above 19. So if I refresh this, it's going to say false because there's one 42 year old. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? And then I miss one, sum, we have sum. Well, you guessed it, what is sum for? Sum is checking is sum or any of this element particularly meet a criteria. So yeah, let's keep this a same example. Is sum minors, right? It's going to return true because some of it are minors, but not all of it. So it's going to now return true. Refresh true because some of these um, elements in this age array, some are under 19, right? And it's the sum method. So that's how you use sum and then every. Now sort. Let's sort is just to sort. So for example, there is two way of sorting. One sorting um, letters or words or names, and then you can sort numbers. So for example, let um, contacts 
equals we have a bunch of names that is Jimmy that is Homer that is um, Bart oops there is Lisa there is Marge okay now if I want to sort pretty straightforward how do you uh, syntax it again I'm gonna get I'm gonna go let sorted contacts equals contacts.sort And then you can just console.log sorted contacts. Just sort like that. It's simple, it's just sorting it, right? So wait until it's actually saving. Now we can refresh. Whoops. Oh, we just have the extra code from the other one. I didn't delete that. Boom. We don't want that. So flip back after this is save. Now it's sorted B H J L M. So from B to M, it's sorted, right? So that's how you sort um, alphabetical um, words, which is easy. But if you have numbers, so for example, um, let numbers some random numbers again let's do make sure it's messed up like that now make a new one let sorted numbers equals numbers dot sort like that but then we want to pass a function. Function, we want to pass A, B, and then we code inside this. Now we say return um, A minus B. Now what this does is basically um, calculating. So when you call this sort function is going to pass 33 to A and 42 to B and then it's going to compare A and B 33 and 42 which one is smaller if the smaller one um, is A and then A will come before B if the smaller one is B and then B will come before A. Okay, that's how it's doing it. So I'm going to go um, console.log sorted number, num, like so. Okay, this is going to sort um, from low to high value. See, 2, 3, 33, 42, 42, 53. Okay, so we have 242 there. So if you want to go the other way around, from high to low, you do B minus A. That's how you sort numbers, okay? And I'm going to refresh that, boom, it's going to be the other way around. 4, 53, 42, 42, 33, 2. Okay, so we have um, sort, now we have reduce. What is reduce? Reduce is actually adding these numbers together and returning one sum value or the total value so let's clear this out for example we have quantity say we are selling products and each product has quantity how many the customer bought the quantity have two four five one one twenty three or twenty four two dozen maybe and one dozen and half a dozen okay so that's the quantity, now let total quantity or total quantity like that, quantity dot reduce, okay, 
and then you do that and then you do function now this is a little bit different okay and curly bracket here reduce start with the um, total and then the current item and then in the end here you also add total here not total the initial value so for example this okay so if i return total plus current item this is the in the initial value of the total the accumulator so if i console dot log total quantity is going to be adding this together okay let's see after this saves so total quantity 55 but if we say i want the the adding to start with 100 instead of zero so it's going to be 155 see 155 this is the initial value of the total we can um, see um, different applications of the reduce function when we are uh, developing the LWC but today we're just going to see how the reduce uh, method works here okay so last is for each which is pretty straightforward we don't have to explain that so for example let uh, students okay same thing um, Jimmy Barbie Ken Ninja <laughs> so we have those students now we want to go for each okay so for um, students dot for each for each students we have function same thing and then curly bracket code there we have current item let's just pass through the current item and let's just console dot log um, current item it's kind of look like a map right so i'm going to save this what's the difference between this and map oops i missed something what did i miss of course there is no equal sign there so let's save that and flip back to our come on come on save save okay boom so jimmy barbie can ninja so what's the difference between this and map with for each you're just going to do whatever you want to do inside the for each loop you can code but there is no return you don't return anything because for each you basically do manipulation of your data inside the for each but you don't need to return anything but with map you have to return the the elements after it's been mapped after you've manipulated the array and you return it back okay well that's basically it that's the most common array methods that we are going to use while developing lightning web component all right i'll see you on the next video bada bing bada Boom! Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it.
don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom